Okay, so tip number one is you can cut and paste and duplicate time just like you can in the arrangement view, but you can actually do this in the MIDI editor as well. And um, this is really, really good uh, if you have some notes and you want to cut them, but you actually want to take the, um, the, the notes that follow it and bring them straight back to the point where you started cutting them. Um, so by doing this, just to give you an example, I'm just going to select these notes here. And instead of cutting them, I'm going to cut time. And you'll notice that all the other notes snap back. Now I can pick anywhere in this, this arrangement and go edit paste time. And it'll kind of open up and give a gap for these um, new notes that I've just cut to be placed. And you can also duplicate as well, which is quite handy. Duplicate time, command shift D. And it'll push everything across for you. Tip number two is a very, very, very simple and quick one. It's an effective way to speed up CPU power if you're really, really struggling with your set. Simply select as many tracks as you want, which you want to kind of render down, right click on them and choose freeze track. This will now systematically go through each single track and re render them out, but it does let you, to, it renders them out as an audio sample, but it lets you go back. Um, if you want to go back and edit the original MIDI file or all the effects that were in the original audio file. Very, very, very handy quick way to cut down the CPU. This next one's really, really handy if you've got quite a few chains in your effects or instrument racks and you want to distribute them evenly across the, ch the zone selector, the zone area of the, um, of the instrument rack. So let's just say I load in a few separate chains into this rack here. We'll just do three. And now if I open up the chain selector editor, and I drag each one of these out from 0 to 127. Right click and go distribute ranges equally. And now it will cut them all out and make them all nice and even for us. Which is great because now we can scroll with our knob and know that each chain is going to have the exact same value as the others. So turning on the MIDI editor preview does allow you to listen to modifications and changes that you make to your MIDI notes. notes. But what it also does is it gives you the opportunity to turn um, the MIDI editor into a nice little step sequencer, which is actually very, very easy to use. So if I enable this um, headphone button here, and I push some keys on my keyboard, I'm just using the QWERTY keyboard here, I find the note I want, I select the place in the MIDI clip, and I push the right arrow, and it will draw that note in for me. I can push across a few times to leave a few gaps, and let's push, put another one. You can also do chords. Very quick for getting ideas down. Tip number five is if you select some notes in the MIDI editor, I'm just going to pick a selection here at random, and hold down the command key, you can now draw a slope in the velocity area of the MIDI editor, which will, which will change all the velocities depending on how you cut them, like so. So here's a more extreme one. Oops, just make sure you select the notes first. Like so. You can pick individual notes by holding down the um, shift key. And then that slope will only be affected to those particular notes. Trick number six is if you freeze a track, like so, you can then hold down the option key and click on one of the, the original clip within that track and drag it to a new blank audio track. What this will do is create a mixed down audio version of the original track. So now we have actually resampled this original track which we've um, frozen. Now we can right click and we can unfreeze this track and we have a copy of both, both the original MIDI track and the um, frozen rendered down audio track. Sorry, two guys just jumped the fence outside of my window. So tip number seven is if you hold down the option and command key, you'll see the arrow turns into a little hand symbol. This means you can simply click and pan left and right. So click and drag to move left and right within the arrangement. No matter how far in you are, you can always click and drag with the option and command key held down. Tip number eight is if you're doing a multi-track recording in session view, there's a great preference if we go into the preferences under the record ward launch called start recording on scene launch. What this does is if you have all of your tracks armed in session view and you trigger a scene, it'll actually start recording on all of those clips that are in that scene. Really, really, really good if you've got lots of inputs and you've got lots of stuff mic'd up and you want to record um, sessions all at once in different clips. 
Tip number nine is you don't actually have to group tracks that are next to each other. So you, we, we don't just have to group these three tracks or these three tracks. We can actually hold down the command key and click on each individual track that we want. Then right click and choose group tracks. It'll grab all of those tracks and put them into a new group for us. Easy. The final trick is a few little things pop up when you enter MIDI or key map mode, which you might have not realized. If you hold down command M and go into MIDI map mode or command K to go into key mode, we can see that these buttons here pop up and we also get a play button here. These mean that we can assign a key to move up through the scenes, down through the scenes, play the scenes. This one is for assigning to um, a number, a scene number. So if we were to have a rotary encoder knob, we could use this and we could flick through the scenes by turning the knob. And down here, this turns into um, a play button, so if we sign that to Z. Now if we push, um, make sure your MIDI keyboard is turned off, your virtual keyboard. Now if we move up and down, we can move through the scenes, we can play a scene, or we can simply play a clip from one of the tracks by using the other key. That's it, TomCosm.com, there's heaps more.